Telecommunications in Georgia include radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Radio and television Radio broadcast stations, AM7, FM12, shortwave 4 Radios, 3.02 million Television broadcast stations, 25 plus repeaters 2011. Televisions, 2.57 million Cellular networks Calling code, plus 995 Mobile phone subscribers, 3.1 million lines 2009 The TLC sector in Georgia comprised 6.88% of the GDP, mostly due to mobile telephony 63%, followed by fixed telephony 29%, and broadcasting 7 .7%. There are three cellular telephone networks, Magticom Limited, Silknet JSC, and Mobitel Georgia Russian Beeline Group. The cellular network market counts more than 3 million active customers in total. Coverage extends to over 98% of the populated territory as of 2010. In urban areas, there are 20 telephones per 100 people, and in rural areas, 4 telephones per 100 people. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Fixed telephony, internet, and IP television. Internet service providers, at least 10 ISPs. Fix phone subscribers, 830,222 lines in use 2009. Top level domain, get fixed telephony, internet and IP television in Georgia is mainly operated by the Silknet, NewNet and Magticom controlled 90% of the market in 2018. By the end of 2008, there were 618,000 fixed telephone users in Georgia. In urban areas there are 20 telephones per 100 people, and in rural areas there are 4 telephones per 100 people. Fiber optic lines connect the major cities and Georgia and Bulgaria are connected with fiber optic line between Poti and Varna Bulgaria. <laughs> Internet censorship and surveillance Listed as engaged in selective Internet filtering in the political and conflict, security areas and as no evidence of filtering in the social and Internet tools areas by the OpenNet Initiative in November 2010, access to Internet content in Georgia is largely unrestricted as the legal constitutional framework, developed after the 2003 Rose Revolution, established a series of provisions that should, in theory, curtail any attempts by the state to censor the Internet. At the same time, these legal instruments have not been sufficient to prevent limited filtering on corporate and educational networks. Georgia's dependence on international connectivity makes it vulnerable to upstream filtering, evident in the March 2008 blocking of YouTube by Turk Telecom. On March 14, 2016, access to YouTube was restricted nationwide. This restriction of access was to presumably prevent Georgian citizens from accessing a video which threatened a number of journalists and opposition figures with the exposure of covertly recorded video tapes of sex acts. YouTube access went down throughout Georgia until the threatening video was removed from the Internet. See also Georgian National Communications Commission